and this is where we combine all of them into a team team and who are the members of the team a restaurant agent hotel agent and airport pickup agent welcome to techy talks ai i am sri from shobhani on this channel we bring you hands on demonstrations and insights into the latest tools and trends to help you get started with ease don't forget to subscribe and be a part of our journey into the future of technology so welcome to our next video on chatbot in this video we are going to build a team of agents each agent specialized in one specific domain so when we have an automation agency and very often we'll come across clients wanting specialized knowledge based that is within one chat system we will offer multiple unique specialized knowledge that is what we are going to see in this demo have you ever wondered how to have multiple domain experts in our chat system each with their own unique knowledge for a rag mechanism that is retrieval augmented generation mechanism so in this video we are going to explore an agentic chatbot that uses a team of agents in fact team of specialized agents each with its own distinct knowledge base so this ensures that the domain specific knowledge stays unique and organized in this video what you will learn is how to upload these separate knowledge bases i have created three separate knowledge bases one for airport pickup service another one for restaurant table booking and third one for hotel room booking service url to these knowledge bases and the sample code is available in the description and the interesting thing is i have also added the admin using which we can view the postgresql vector database so let's see how it works so here is the sample placeholder website so this is a simple single page website and this is where we have embedded our chat system when you click on it it will open the application so instead of working here in this small window we are going to open the chat system on a full screen so that we can focus on what we are interested in so this is the full screen okay and here we have the admin and we have three knowledge base databases created so what we will do you can see the sizes airport knowledge this is the default size when we create a name t table okay so, uh, hotel knowledge and restaurant knowledge so we will upload the sample knowledge bases one by one okay so we have three knowledge bases one is airport pickup service type of vehicle drivers etc and restaurant booking uh, sample knowledge base and then we have hotel room booking uh, rag database okay so we are going to upload this this is small demo knowledge bases okay so here we'll paste the url to the pdf for the airport pickup service and update the vector database remember this will chunk the pdf and convert each chunk into embeddings and save it in the postgresql database so now let's refresh the screen see this one airport knowledge has increased let's click on it and select data see it has got two chunks okay so capacity luggage capacity and corresponding vectors for each of those chunks so this is a tiny demo of the vector database so we have updated the airport knowledge base for the airport agent similarly let's repeat this for the restaurant booking knowledge base this one will paste the url update the knowledge base okay so that is done let's refresh okay so restaurant knowledge has been updated and let's look at the chunks so this also has two chunks is a small document and the vector so now let's update 
the room booking knowledge base okay so that also has been updated let's refresh and see yes see now let's look at the chunks okay so that is done so what we have done so far is we have uploaded three RAM knowledge bases in separate tables in the vector database clear now let's ask the question to our teams so my name is Sri. What car types are available for pickup? Okay, see, see here, I have asked, my name is Sri, what car types are available for pickup? And what it has done is, it is passing the task to agent 2 and agent 2 has picked up that specific knowledge attached to that agent 2 and it is giving us the information from the pickup service see sedan suv minivan clear so this way users query is correctly passed on to different domain experts let's repeat this So, here I am asking, I am seeing what table sizes are available for booking. Okay, so it is giving the details again from the restaurant knowledge base. I am Sri. I am entering the name because I have made name mandatory. I am Sri. Do you have non-smoking suite available? So, it is passing this to that specific agent and it is asking for more information and it says it is available let me also ask what room types are available it is asking for my name so here it is passing uh, here are the room types okay again i am three what table sizes are available for booking Okay, so here, this again is from the knowledge base. So, this is a quick demo of seeing how we can add domain-specific knowledge to each of our agents. Now, let's now let's look at the code. So, here, most of the code is similar to all our previous videos. We have made numerous similarly structured videos. And each of those videos are adding one extra sophistication. Okay, so this booking tool is same. So, this restaurant booking tool is identical, this hotel booking tool is identical, and airport pickup tool is also identical. And here, here we have a function added, create domain specific knowledge, and we pass the domain. So, domain name in this case can be restaurant, hotel or airport. And accordingly, we will ensure that the table name, so the vector database table name, we are entering here, the domain underscore knowledge. That is what we saw here. See, airport underscore knowledge, hotel underscore knowledge and restaurant underscore knowledge. Okay, so, so th this is the domain specific knowledge base creation and where do we use it? So, so this is where the agent definitions begin. So, here we are creating the domain specific knowledge for hotel. So, here we are using the domain specific uh, knowledge creation function and this is where we are defining the agent for hotel reservation handling. 
Yeah. So similarly, we have two more agents. This is for airport pickup agent. What I have added here, here the instructions, you can customize based on your need. So airport pickup agent, hotel agent and restaurant table booking agent. Three agents we have. And this is where we combine all of them into a team. Team and who are the members of the team? A restaurant agent, hotel agent and airport pickup agent. So this main agent has no tools added to it or knowledge added to it. But each of those domain experts we have knowledge base added here and booking tool added here. You can extend this booking tool and the knowledge according to your need. So sim similarly hotel agent also we have knowledge and tools added. So that is it. Rest of the code is identical. And in order to run it, all you need to do is to come to this folder. When you git clone the URL given in the description, you will get the techie talks AI folder. And then you do docker compose up minus minus build. And the PostgreSQL vector database starts. Sample web server with the web page starts. The chatbot streamlit application also starts. So that is it for this video. Thank you for your time. Please like, share and subscribe and give me a valuable comment. Bye bye. See you in the next video.